All right, kia ora everybody. Uh, Sophie Hoskins here, the Eons Kayarahi, and um, this evening I have Michelle Matthews with us from Otago Girls. Um, kia, ora. kia ora. Thanks for coming tonight. Um, and Michelle is going to share with us um, the haringa that uh, she does um, with the girls. So we'll just crack into it, um, Michelle, if that's cool. If you just want to give us a bit of a um, a rundown on what you do and how it fits into the curriculum and um, just, yeah, call it all however you feel. Sure. Thank you. Sure. Kia ora, everyone. Um, yeah, so Michelle Matthews from Otago Girls High School. And, um, yeah, we run a hiring a Puti for our Year 12 students um, that take outdoor education. And um, a colleague of mine, um, Shannon McNetty, actually started it while I was on maternity leave. So, um, yeah, thanks to Shannon's um, kickstart of it all. And then um, the following year when I came back, um, yeah, I just added an extra day, actually, which um, is probably... Um, a lot more of the Matauranga Māori side of things and Te Ao Māori perspective. Um, and so now it's a three day rather than two day. And um, we head from school um, and we do a journey for um, the three days and we end up back at school without using vehicles except support vehicles um, for bikes and things. Um, yeah, by all modes of transport, um, the girls help with the planning side of things. And uh, we head firstly on our bikes, and then we do a walk up and over the hill, and then we get back on our bikes out to Waitati, um, where we end up at um, Te Whariwa Nanga o Te Whanau Aroha Nui Waitati. So it's like a training marae. And um, I actually do this on a Sunday because uh, at the end of the holidays, because my husband and my whanau can be involved and they bring a different perspective than I can um, I can't give all of that myself. So, um, yeah, we do a pool footy process for the girls and um, have an evening and a night at the marae. Uh, we go and um, gather some kai moana, um, just cockles, sit on kayaks, um, just have a bit of fun in the bay. And um, then that evening, actually, somebody comes to the marae and does um, a bit of a kōrero around all the carvings, the, um, which are all sort of related to different ātua. And oh. um, also talk talk patterns. Um, yeah, it's really cool. So we, we talk a little bit about that at school beforehand, and we learn mahi mahi processes and things. So we can do all of that, and the girls feel comfortable. Um, and from there, and then the next morning, we actually go up to Otakanui Eco Sanctuary, and we use an educator there who's awesome. Takes us up from the bottom to the top. Um, yeah, filling filling in lots of things on flora and fauna and um, yeah it's a great time for the girls um, walking up the hill and then we go to Mihiwaka for an abseil which is a really a good challenge for the girls it's a great abseil here in Dunedin oh cool yeah and then head down to Port Chalmers uh, on our bikes again and um, across to um, Kamo Tauroa so it's Quarantine Island and we stay there the night and um, the next day we get that ferry across to the other side where a colleague's taking our bikes around and we bike back to town. So it's a bit of a loop circuit and great for the girls to see on the map um, what we've covered and achieved over the three days. Um, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And what um, do you fit achievement standards for that or unit standards? Or how so, does... um, yeah, I feel like the new unit standards are actually going to be awesome for it. Um, yeah to uh, yeah, join a few things in there, but it's more of like a highlight for the end of the year. Um, the abseil does help contribute to an abseiling rock climbing unit standard. Yeah. Um, last year, I actually used it for our cycle tour, so we, we didn't actually do the walkover, we biked all the way um, for a couple of days, so we could, because of COVID, we hadn't been able to do our cycle tour. So, yeah. you know, you can kind of adjust it um, for how the year's gone or what the group yeah. is like, yeah. but it's, I could definitely include different unit stands if need be. But, yeah, yeah but also kind of nice not to have a massive um, assessment attached to it as well and just enjoy the experience. And That's right, and use some of the skills they've kind of gained through the year to then, yeah, um, yeah enjoy the environment yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. and um, you've mentioned you um, haven't started incorporating uh, more mātauranga Māori into it. Um, 
what are some of the other ways that you have incorporated that or using your whanau and your husband? Um, yeah, so um, I kind of, throughout the year, I try to introduce little snippets too, like yeah. um, with Matariki, Māori New yeah. Year, um, and then we talk a little bit about creation story and ātua, um, and then obviously doing the pool footy process, mahi mahi, um, gathering kai, all of that is, is quite helpful. But um, yeah. also I'm doing a course, actually the ministry runs Te Ahu o Te Reo Māori, which is um, across the country, actually, teachers yeah. can sign up. And um, it's it's more for local dialect and, um, yeah, to encourage more teachers to be speaking the local dialect in the area. So I'm wow. hoping to include more kaitahu um you know, Pudako and stories this year, and also awesome. about place, place names too. Yeah. So yeah. Um, we've already started to hear from um, local iwi some stories, local stories, and they're really hard to find. So if you mm. actually can hear it from somebody, yeah, um, yeah I'll be able to yeah. hopefully incorporate that more this year than, than I did last year. Yeah, I think that's de yeah, definitely a key. A lot of people are saying as well as you really need to um, go and make those connections mm. with people in your community because that's where you find that's, the, the yeah. stories. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And um, they're really um, willing to help. And um, yeah, I could email and get information if need be. But yeah, um, yeah my husband's not from local iwi, but um, him and the whanau out Waitati helped me out on that first day with um, a lot of the te ao Māori perspective and yeah. um, tikanga and things, which is yeah. Great. Yeah. Oh, cool. Sounds awesome. Lucky girls. Mm. Yeah, they um, are. And it's, it's surprising, actually, um, a lot of them haven't had a lot of that experience yet. Um, yeah. We do do a year 10 marae visit at school. Yeah. Noho marae. But, um, yeah. yeah, many of them haven't had a lot of time at a marae. Mm -hmm. or, um, so it's a really cool yeah. experience for them. Yeah. yeah. So for somebody um, looking at this, thinking, oh, I'd like to do something like that with my... Um, class um mm. what would you say are some of the con key considerations in terms of planning in the bigger picture um in terms of like you know yeah. what's important what are the challenges um yeah what? I think um connecting to that local area is really important like a lot of our students I'm surprised that they don't know some of the places that we visit and go yeah. to and um you know you hope to bring that they might take their whānau there or friends to these places and so finding out some cool places that are close handy um, easy to get to looking at your modes of travel that you yeah. want to use for your students and then yeah. um, just getting a few people on board I suppose so um, you know I have some colleagues that leave, live on either side of the harbour so I call on them to help out with vehicle transport or here and yeah um, just little things like that that can make it a lot easier um and the students probably don't notice that stuff but that, those logistics behind it making it um yeah easy for the students to enjoy it yeah, yeah. and what would you say have been some of the challenges that um are worth considering or thinking about yeah um I think with with the planning side of it and my um Motanga, ma, ma Māori is um, been a journey for myself so yeah. I'm still working on that with my tereo yeah. and things so um, yeah. just knowing that it's a process and you know this was a two-day journey now it's a three-day journey yeah. um, and I you know flora and fauna you can start to bring in more Mātauranga Māori aspects to that and um, some places like Aurokanui is awesome at helping with that side of things but um, yeah just knowing that it's not the first time you do it, you could even do, um, you know, a day trip locally mm. um, yeah. and then start to build on that and yeah. um, ask the students what they liked about it and then you might find a certain aspect or place that they really enjoyed and you know there's other places like that close. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, just yeah. growing it each yeah. year. Yeah. And going with what the students are kind of mm. um, wanting or um, yeah. where their passion lies. Mm. Um, yeah. and, and like you said earlier as well, you can kind of change around depending on the year, you know, with, for example, with COVID last year, but I guess you can also change it around depending on the class you've got and their interests. 
differently um, yeah and yeah. the skills you've developed over the year you know like yeah. students sometimes they will be a class that really enjoys the biking side of things yeah. others not so much and would maybe yeah. go by foot or um yeah. yeah so you could change your route each year too and yeah. um, we kind of have each year depending um there's quite a few walks tramps day walks that we can do um yeah. to mix it up and um yeah. yeah and then you can kind of see yourself with the size of the group and that what one works better too yeah Mm. nice and would you do you have any other um suggestions in terms of um the sustainability side of things like i mean it's really cool using less transport and not not traveling very far are there any other um focuses that you've looked into or um you do yeah, on the trip um uh quarantine island actually do um restoration you know planting and things like that too so i'm hoping to jump on that for in the morning um yeah. this year we i didn't do yeah. it last year yeah. um as well as shannon actually um got her student she runs it with the um university now as a practical yeah. and um they actually their meal has to be um you know no waste so yeah. um they go shopping and do all of that without yeah with minimal yeah. waste so yeah. it's that's something that would be quite cool too and for the students yep. to reflect on how much um rubbish we create in one meal you know mm. is is quite um, a another look at. yeah yeah awesome okay. oh cool great well that's a uh, really awesome rundown um do you have any final words or words of wisdom you want to share <laughs> oh i just think give it a go um yeah. Yeah, and yeah, get somebody on side with you. It's, it's helpful to have bounce off people yeah. and um, it can grow a lot more than you ever thought. So yeah, um, yeah and I'm excited to see, you know, further development in this. Um, yeah. yeah, and I'd like to see other people and in, incorporate some of their ideas too. So just share and get involved and go yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Well, thank you so much for being um, so willing to share with everybody because I know that it's, you know, it's um, not always easy, but it's so cool to just see all these little things that are happening all over the country. Um, but we yeah, don't that, know. That they yeah, are. that's right. Um, yeah, like I, I definitely think other people are doing amazing things, and I'd love to hear what they're up to. Because yeah. yeah, you know, yes, yeah. Cool. Well, hopefully, we'll be able to share a few more. Cool. Sure to all say. Right. Thank you so much. Thank I will you. stop that there.